Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Mrs. DeVita's virtual art room. Today, per the request of my friend Tristan Barrett, we are going to be drawing some Santa Grinches. And I cannot take credit for this awesome lesson. This is actually per Art Hub for Kids. Uh, I got the idea from them. They had probably one of the better drawings of the Grinch because it was fairly simple. Um, it is an intermediate level drawing, which means it's a little bit harder than some of my other ones, but I know you can do it. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. One of my favorite Dr. Seuss characters. And probably looks like Miss DeVita's been looking a little bit lately. All right, so we're gonna put our paper vertically. That means straight up and down. Pretend that the Grinch got a school portrait done. And that would be like this, so straight up and down like that. We are gonna start, ladies and gentlemen, with his nose. And his nose kind of looks like one of those mushrooms you might find on a pizza. So what we're gonna do, do a wiggly little line like this. And I'm gonna draw a little dark so you can see. Whatever you have handy, pencil, marker, whatever. I prefer to draw with a pencil just in case. Um, but you know, whatever you have handy. Draw the top of the nose, wiggle, wiggle. Okay. All right. And now we're gonna start on the eyes. So the eyes, ladies and gentlemen, we draw a lot of letter U shapes with just about everything that Miss DeVita does. Two letter U's, it looks like he's sleeping right now. Okay. Now, the Grinch is a grumpy guy. He lives up on the mountaintop. He is a hermit. All right, so I would sing a Grinch song, but y'all do not want to hear me singing. So I'll leave that to my friend, Miss Ashbury, the music teacher. She's like the bomb. Okay. Now I'm gonna draw our center of our eyes. Okay, so look, he's looking pretty grumpy. Okay, now what we're gonna do, he has these like eyebrows. He probably needs to go to the salon or something like that because he's got crazy looking eyebrows. Okay, so they kind of look a little bit like caterpillars. We're gonna wing it up and then we're gonna go like this. Maybe like three or four little parts like that. Up, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay, <laughs> it looks like he could like fly with those. It might be eyelashes, not real sure. You know when he becomes kind of, um, he tries to charm people and he like wiggles his little eyelashes. So anyway, got some cheeks going on. Okay, cause he has that like crooked grin. So we're gonna work on our smile. Got this. Okay, and I apologize y'all that I'm coming at you from my dining room this morning, but hey, whatever works. Okay, got our smile. All right. And we're going to start on the side of her head. If I'm going too fast, just stop the video. Just like always. Okay. Ooh, his head looks a little big on this one, but that's okay. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get up. You know what? Gonna get a little bit, he's got a little bit of fuzz. I'm not quite sure if he's like an animal or some kind of like humanish kind of thing, but he's a little bit fluffy. I got a chin, come down. Looks a little bit like the baby Grinch, like I just did that, but that's okay. All right, I got the side of the face. Okay, so I just did. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it up. He's got a little bit of a lump right here. And the side of his head is not gonna be exactly even because we are gonna put a Santa hat on here because we are drawing a Santa Grinch. So here's what we're gonna do. We put the side of the hat on. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start in the hat. We're gonna do a little U. There's a letter U again, okay? That's for the hat. You can wiggle. A lot of wiggly roller coaster lines, don't we? And then we're gonna kinda come down. Oh, you know what? I'm probably gonna run out of room for my little hat, but that's okay. Okay, now we got, we're gonna come down here. We're gonna do his collar. And don't get frustrated if it doesn't look perfect because the Grinch is a pretty lopsided looking guy. All right, he's perfectly imperfect. It's one of my favorite movies. All right, we got our little collar. I'm kind of running out of room up here. Like I said, don't get frustrated if you run out of room. I know someone commented when I had posted a picture of what we're doing for today that they ran out of room for their hat. You can always go to the other side 
you could always, um, you know what, if I ran out of room over here, what could I do? Could I take it over here or something? I sure could. I could make it go this opposite way. So he's got that little weird looking, we're gonna do like that. I'm gonna do it on this side this time. Or you could do it on the opposite side. On this one, I got it like this. So I'll hold that up for a minute, okay? What you could do is you could do it like this. Okay, let's brought it around like that. Almost like a weird looking squishy heart shape. All right, so now I've got that little Santa hat. <laughs> kind of looks like it's dripping down right here, doesn't it? All right, now we got his little bit of his shoulders. So we're gonna do that. And now we have ourselves a Grinch picture. So take your time and it does not have to be perfect. Sometimes you can figure out ways to make something look right or make it the way you want it to look if you find a solution to it, right? And in art, there is really no perfection. So there you go. You guys have a Grinch. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and be jolly. Bye.